about you, but I'm usually not a fan of middlemen. Sometimes the middleman's existence means that you end up paying significantly more for a product or service you're purchasing, and it can feel frustrating having to shell out more cash than you feel is necessary. However, in my opinion, one place where middlemen are very much needed is real estate. Mortgage loan officers, real estate agents, and escrow agents are some examples of middlemen in the real estate that help facilitate a complicated transaction worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And when dealing with that amount of money, it's important not to make any mistakes. That's why escrow is so important. Escrow is essentially a third party that holds funds to ensure that timely payments are made and that all parties to the real estate transaction are protected. Let's say you're buying your house you fall in love with. You offer the money to purchase on the condition that the seller puts on a new roof and replaces the water heater. You transfer the money along only to find out once the sale is complete that the water heater has not been replaced. Now, the seller has already has your money and even though they're breaching their contractual obligations with you, it could take months of costly legal action to remedy the situation. With escrow, none of this is a worry. You simply give your money to the escrow company and once all the contingencies are met, your money is passed along to the seller. If they do not fulfill their obligations, you can easily get your money back with a little headache. Escrow also protects the home seller by ensuring that the buyer actually has the funds available before the seller starts home inspections and repairs. Once the money is deposited, each party knows that the funds won't be moved until both sides do their due diligence based on the contract. So even though there are fees associated with placing and receiving the money to and from an escrow account, buyers and sellers should rest assured that their money is safe in the hands of a neutral third party whose only obligation is to the contract. Hope this helps give you a little more insight into the real estate transaction. What else would you like to know about this process? Let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. I'm Ruby Miranda, the Texas Queen of Real Estate.